On Tuesday, July 9th, Ashland Legion took on North Chelmsford. North Chelmsford led 1-0 heading to the bottom of the fourth. Back to Mayor Deals. And this is up the left side, past the reach of the third baseman. And post 77 has tied the game. An RBI single for Kevin Balowitz. Right up in the pitch. Diavonzo gets a piece of this one. That's a fair ball picked up by the pitcher. Throw to first is going to get away. And here comes Balowitz over to third. He's going to try to score, and he will score. Post 77 takes the 2 to 1 lead on the air and throw. Left and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one into left field. It goes past the reach of the shortstop. Lead runner being waved around. Here comes Dante Diavonzo. The throw in is going to get away from the catcher. And that is going to be run number three for post 77. Diavonzo with a bit of a collision with the catcher, Nickerson. Slow roller picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first. Got him. Nice play by Dom Cavanaugh. Five to three for out number three. Post 77 pulls out the three to two win over North Chelmsford to improve to 10 and 0 on the season. He pitched three plus innings today and looked very good out there. Could you talk about what it was like facing a, that tough North Chelmsford lineup and coming through today and walking away with this gritty victory? Yeah, no, it was definitely a, a tough team win. Uh, we stuck around, we were down a long time. Uh, we, um, we got some runs in the fourth, it was good. Uh, I was happy that after that first inning that I threw, I got some run support and I was able to just get through the next two innings and we had Gus finish it for us. Uh, it was it was good, yeah. Awesome, well you did a great job out there. Uh, what's it been like playing with this group this season? Oh, fantastic, I love the team. Uh, coaches are great. Um, we, we know when to have a good time and we know when to bring it together and get a win like we, we just did. Um, it's it's great playing together. It's great practicing together. I'm always having a fun time. We're always having a fun time. The coaches love it. We just love being together. Tom Nappy here with Post 77 head coach Jake Obid, and we also have a guest with us today, uh, Gandhi. Can you explain what the Gandhi statue is all about? Um, so basically, we're looking for a thing to like be a rallying sort of symbol for us. Um, so every day, we recognize the player of the game um, and this was just something funny the uh, the kids stumbled upon I think Maddie actually took it from uh, his history teacher um, and the guy was like all right I don't care who took it but you guys better do some fun with it so we turned it into the MVP trophy each game so he travels with the team stays overnight with the winner I put my cap on him during games sometimes kids rub them before they go up to bat uh, but yeah it's just been a fun thing to like build on social media um, and just uh, add a little more added competition. And who got the Gandhi statue today? Kevin Ballas got the Gandhi statue today. It was between <laughs> it was between three guys. Uh, Louis Dennison obviously pitched awesome in relief. Um, Sean Jewett, he really got us going. I mean, he's great. But um, but Kev, sophomore, just starting to play a little more, comes up huge, starts us up with that RBI single with two outs, and then ends up scoring from first on the infield. Single error, I don't know what it was officially ruled at, but scores from first on that. So uh, Kev stepped up big for us tonight, and he had another great swing to center too. Um, yeah. But yeah, so. And uh, you had some great pitching today between the combination of uh, Matty Tomaselli and um, Dennison as well as Gustafson. Can you talk about the performance of those three guys today? Yeah, I mean, our pitching was awesome. Um, we got behind in some counts, but they always worked back. They competed. Um, having Gus, I mean, is huge. He's not here a lot because he's double rostered, but he was able to come tonight. Um, and, and around the fifth inning, Andrew Kime and I sort of looked at each other and we were like, all right, maybe we can go to Gus because our bats are kind of cold. Um, but I mean, Louis was pitching great, so we put him out there. He lost it a little, which was fine. I mean, he gave us more than I expected him to give us. Uh, and just having Gus ready, like, I don't think I've ever been more relaxed with the tying run on second base in the last <laughs> inning and no outs um, because I knew Gus was just going to go in there and mow him down. He's he's a cheat code. I mean, he's unbelievable. <laughs> and uh, obviously you've won a lot of games by a large scoring margin. Uh, tonight, not so much. Uh, 
it must feel good to get some wins like this, especially against a good team like North Chelmsford. Yeah, I mean, North Chelmsford, I think they're on a five or six game winning streak coming into this. Um, they're a hot team. We knew it was going to be a different game the second time around. We beat up on them a little bit last time. Uh, we knew it was going to be different. Um, we really haven't had to play behind a lot. Uh, the past couple games, we've made it interesting. I mean, Newton, we had a combined win. Waltham, we've had a combined win. Um, this game, obviously down one zip, we come from behind and win. So it's shown a lot of our character, being able to come from behind, grind out both blowouts and close games like this. Um, it's it's always a good test. I think we're gonna face a lot more of those down the stretch, and especially in a week and a half when we're in playoffs. We're gonna have to win these types of games, so it's definitely definitely important to be in these situations.